All right, today is December the 16th, 2016, and right now at 10 p.m. in the foothills of Los Angeles, we have a temperature of 44 degrees. The uh, relative humidity is 60%. The barometer is reading 29.94, and that's uh, rising a little bit. Uh, this morning we had 29.85. Okay, so, uh, or pardon me, 29.89. So 29.89 this morning, and now we're at 29.94. That's on the rise. The dew point is uh, currently 31 degrees. Okay, so uh, we have a blockade here on the uh, Northeast Pacific water vapor loop. We can see that being installed right here. This is uh, engineered with a transmitter. And what is uh, happening here is that we have this atmospheric river of water, which is having to move around that blockade. So the Moisture supply to California has been cut off effectively right here. We can see that that channel of moisture is having to redirect itself around this high pressure that's been installed. And that is moving into Baja, California. Also, we have a tail of moisture coming off of this uh, storm system right here, which has a right angle on it. And that is uh, moving into this area as well. And we see the evaporation pattern right there. So they've got a transmitter focusing RF energy right here. And we see the remnants of that storm moving off to the east. We had uh, in the foothills ranging between an inch and a quarter and uh, an inch and three quarters. All right, so uh, that's good news, but that was about half of what the uh, puppets on TV uh, forecast. So they were they were wrong. They were calling for uh, two to three inches, and we got roughly one and a half, a little over a half, one and a half inches. So that's about half. All right, so uh, we have a, a storm out here, which is uh, being manipulated. We can see the frontal system has been completely unhinged from uh, this uh, core. This was a storm yesterday. Today it's a gale because they, they have uh, broken it down. We can see the transmitter activity all around this uh, storm system, this uh, gale right here. And we have uh, a moisture field that is walling up right here. It has nowhere to go because of that. Uh, barrier that blockade that that high pressure generates and so there's a lot of evaporation right here we can see that very clearly and that right angle and that right angle when they put a right angle on these uh, storms that uh, unhooks the the frontal system from the core so we see a complete unhingement here right here there's no real connection between this core uh, which what well, was uh, winding right into the uh, vortex there so and we can see the clockwise rotation right here as a result of all that high pressure being forced down in this area we've got that right angle we have clockwise rotation right here that's from that descending air generated from that uh, transmitter which is generating heat descending air and that's what's causing this uh, clockwise rotation and then of course this blockade here will uh, prevent <clears throat> prevent any further rain in our area Let's go take a look at the Doppler map right now. And we'll refresh that. We'll come back to that here in a sec. Let's go to the uh, rainbow loop. And we can see the uh, blockade that's been generated around this uh, Gale 4 system. This was a storm yesterday, as I mentioned. But look at that. They've got this whole thing surrounded with high pressure. And uh, a couple of days ago, it looked like this was going to move right in behind that other storm, which is way out over here. They've got this thing parked. It's just sitting sitting here spinning. It's actually moving to the south on the uh, surface analysis map. They do have an arrow pointing right down to the south. So Hawaii may uh, get uh, some rain from this uh, system right there. Right, let's go back to that Doppler map and take a look at uh, Southern California. We see that uh, Big Bear and uh, Lake Arrowhead, Crestline, all this whole area is getting uh, some snow. Let's go ahead and zoom in. One thing I noticed last night on the KNBC News at 11 p.m. last night is they were showing their version of the Doppler radar. They were touting their Doppler uh, uh, radar capabilities, and they were showing these uh, animated maps of Southern California, and they were showing the uh, these uh, these patterns, these uh, same patterns that I've been showing, but their transmitters, uh, they were showing their uh, Doppler transmitters in various areas. Uh, around the area from from uh, and uh, they were showing these uh, patterns right there on the uh, 
live TV. So, but those were not the same. Uh, in other words, the center of the pattern, the breakup pattern that they were showing, for example, was in an area that it was uh, not being seen by uh, what we were looking at here on these maps. So, uh, <clears throat> I'm not sure what the uh, reasoning for that is. Uh, I'd like for them to explain why we see these. Uh, they're going to do that they might as well explain to everyone what we're seeing here if uh if it's not clear if it's not being made clear enough this is a transmitter generated well this one here was probably uh, a few minutes old but it, it's uh, going to fill back in with snow but there's been some manipulation here we can see that uh, we do have some snow right up here in the uh, high desert area And up here near uh, Tehachapi, Lake Isabella, if you zoom out a little bit, we can see that uh, pretty much the rest of California is dry. A little bit of snow up here, south of Lake Tahoe. Now look at here, this is what we're talking about right here. Cedar City, St. George, Utah, nice little town. But this is transmitter manipulation. We can uh, triangulate all this and we can find a transmitter right in this area. So the KNBC people were showing their Doppler radars around the area and they were showing these scatter patterns just like this. Except that their, uh, their uh, Doppler uh, radars uh, don't seem to coincide with all of the locations that I've marked on my maps. That's probably because they're uh, doing something a little different. But uh, anyhow... Uh, let's go back to the other maps, and we can see uh, this is sort of stationary at the moment. Let's go to the uh, western U.S. map real quick. We can see that blockade filling in, and that will uh, completely block all of this moisture coming from this uh, gale force system and this Pineapple Express. we got chemtrails down here. We can see those right, right there. All through this area, they're spraying chemtrails, and as I mentioned, maybe I didn't mention... Uh, today we had chemtrails above the uh, beautiful cumulus clouds uh, all through the Southern California area. We had nice, beautiful, clean air. Uh, it was a great day for a walk. Uh, the problem is they were spraying those chemtrails right over the tops of these beautiful clouds. And so by tomorrow, uh, we're going to see a completely different pattern emerge. We'll have uh, clear skies pretty much, high pressure building in. The, the barometer is on its way back up. And uh, so uh, this rain opportunity is, is uh, being stopped. You see that Pineapple Express flow. It would normally mo uh, be moving right into uh, our area to uh, deliver more rain. And they've stopped that. And that's what this is all about. Now, before I started making these videos uh, a year and a half ago, these were very, very common. These, this uh, feature right here, they, they set this up. And park it in place and uh, for two three days at a time and then we started exposing this and we don't see this as, as often so this is a uh, effort to stop the rain obviously this is why they do that let's go look at the uh, infrared map we can see that outflow right here all this outflow moving away right down here it's all pushing away you got high pressure which flows to low pressure that's what we're seeing right here. Now, some of this moisture is going to move in regardless because there's a lot of it. And so uh, the forecast for tomorrow is for chemtrail spring. You see the moisture right here in the Central Valley, down here uh, in the high desert areas. I don't have the uh, Southern California map pulled up, but we can see the, uh, the green. Right there, there's uh, moisture in the area, so keep an eye on that. Now, like I say, the relative humidity right now is 60%. They were spraying chemtrails today. We should still be up around, uh, you know, 80%. The ground is still soaked, but uh, those uh, chemical aerosols uh, act as desiccants. They uh, absorb atmospheric water vapor, and uh, they are very effective down here in Southern California. All right, here's the uh, surface analysis map. Pacific surface analysis map. We have this gale right here, 1,000 millibar, which is indicated to be moving to the south, uh, south, uh, west. 
All right, we have a huge area of high pressure here, of course. That's what's blockading California. This is sort of exaggerated, but it is uh, going to uh, block California's rain. And we have a uh, big storm up here uh, in the uh, Bering Sea right here north of the Alaskan Island, uh, or the Aleutian Island uh, chain right here, which is a 955 millibar system moving north. Let's take a look next at the uh, SSCC map. We can see that system right north of Hawaii, right there. It's got a really straight angle on it. A right angle is a rectangle, and we see some uh, counterclockwise rotation there. Problem is, they've they've completely unhinged the uh, frontal system. We see all this clockwise flow in the in the chemtrails through here. Let's pan over pan over towards uh, California and we see that system moving out to the uh, east and of course this is the high pressure being installed next barometers on the rise okay let's go back and take another look at that uh, got that uh, can't find my envelope here, if I can, here we go. Just going to uh, stop this real quick and show this is a fairly straight edge. As we wind through the uh, seven and one half hour loop, that maintains that's a fairly straight edge on both sides. less than 90 degrees but it's uh, definitely a transmitter causing that feature that's not mother nature that's designed to unhinge the frontal system which is, it has done and you're left with just a spinning core and then of course the heat uh, from the uh, transmitter just eventually they just beat this thing down with the uh, right here uh, while they're blockading all the moisture and that's what they do that's how it works so that's it uh, we'll do another one tomorrow